What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Ryan Myers Expeditions. We're out here today with Brandon and word on the street is eating something red on Chinese New Year brings you good luck. So what we're looking for today is those little menpachis that live out here in these little caves. Conditions look incredible. How are we feeling? Uh, I feel good. Another species on the list, so I'm really excited to try it. Brandon's gonna be rocking that Evolve three prong, and I'm gonna be shooting that bigger pathos, diving really deep right next to him. One of my favorite things about this spot is that I can dive deep while my buddy dives shallow. It's such a steep drop off that like literally he can be hunting that 60, 70 foot and I can drop 120, 130 right next to him and we can still watch each other. The mission for today is definitely to nail those little red fish, but also this spot is known to have absolutely everything cruise up to it. So a wahoo or an ahi or a marlin or honestly anything could come up to me and I'm gonna have that gun ready and definitely be taking that shot. Well guys, with that, we'll see you in the water. Gotta swim. You gotta get off that beaten path. You gotta do just a little bit more than the other guy is willing to do to find those better fish. We just had a really, really nice long swim. I wasn't kidding, bro. Like a mile. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you fish or what? <laughs> bro, right here. This is where they live. And now we can dive. <laughs> This is gonna be kind of difficult because those menpachi like to live back in holes and they're a lot harder to shoot than those kole. They're soft and a lot of times when you hit them, they definitely rip off. They're just difficult in general because they're always darting back and forth in those holes trying to avoid being speared. They get smarter, yeah. smarter, smarter, real quick. <laughs> Make it count. Dude, that was sick. All right, shoot out. 25 more to go. Right. <laughs> it's my lucky day. Grunting at me, or was that the fish? That was the fish. Really? Yeah, they grunt. That's another stud, bro. They're big uh, here. Yeah. Nice stud. You get the luck for all of us. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I got three times as much luck as we need, bro. <laughs> I can see the shape of a cowrie sitting on the bottom, and I immediately think Sam would love it if I brought that home to her. Unfortunately for Sam, he's still alive. So I'm just gonna leave him right here to get his footing again, but since I'm already at 70 feet and I'm holding my loaded spear gun, I might as well see what else is around.
There's a little uku heading straight towards me, and the only thing Sam would love more than that shell is this uku. So I'm just gonna go for it. It looks like he's turning and I didn't get a good breathe up anyways, so I'm just gonna get out of here. Wait, he's coming back, I got this. Oh, no I don't, just clipped him, but now I know they're here. It's Brandon's turn to dive next and I'm on camera duty. I guess he didn't see anything in that cave, so I'm turning off the camera and getting out of here. Wait, is that another Uku? Okay, camera's back on now, I just need to find my gun. This is crazy rushed. I've got a camera in my left hand, my gun in my right, and I'm already out of breath. I'm just gonna bail and do this properly. I've got a full breathe up this time, camera back on my head where it belongs, and I'm on my way to find a proper hiding spot. I feel so much better than I did on my last two dives. There's no rush, no shells, no camera. It's just me and Mr. Uku. Let's see if I can make this happen. <laughs> That's a fish right, right? there, Right? Huh? That's the Hawaiian special. Wow. That's the jobby right there. That's the one everyone wants. This is it. <laughs> That's sick, bro. How pretty are those fins? Beautiful, man. Look at that. Dude, that's sick. That's a real fish, bro. That's a real fish. Hey, I'm not swimming close to you with that on your belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that thing down there, bro. Sick. It came in when I was when I was pointing out those fish, those little ones. That's so cool. <sighs> that was a pretty fish. Nice, bro. <laughs> sick little dive there. Found what we were looking for, those menpachis. And, but the trophy of the day, the uku out there, nice and deep, 85 feet, that little pathos roller. How cool is that little pathos gun that I can use to shoot this and those tiny little menpachis? I mean, talk about some versatility there. We're gonna scale up these menpachis, gut them, gill them, fry them up whole, and I'm gonna take this one back to Sam. Watch out for the big wave, right? We got a big one coming in. Yeah, like, a, like an actual big one's coming. Always racing that sunset. I know, bro. How do we end up in these situations? Because it takes you two hours to suit up. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so we got our manpachis here. All I did was gut gill scale, put some big old slices in these things, dried them off really well, and now some of that Hawaiian salt, which you just can't have enough of. Oh, that looks so good, bro. <laughs> In theory, that keeps them from sticking to the bottom. I don't really know. <laughs> oh, that's a lucky bird yes. Do you feel the luck? Oh, bro. They're good, huh? Good. Oh my gosh, yeah. All right, so part of that New Year's tradition a lot of times out here in Hawaii is red fleshed fish. So I brought some ahi out here. Brandon had been saying he wanted to just to eat a slab of ahi and I was like, that I can do. I can't catch you one, I can't shoot you one, but I can buy you one at KTA. So we got one of those and then we're driving past and I realized that he never had a lao lao. 17 days he spent with me and I never fed him a lao lao. So I had to stop at Super J's, get him a couple lao laos because there's nothing after a long freaking swim like a delicious lao lao. I don't know <laughs> what I have here. Uh, you have to explain it. It's Something from the side of the road that you picked up. Wait, so we don't eat the grass. Don't eat the outside green stuff, eat the inside green stuff. <laughs> Unwrap it. Inside green stuff? I so that's a tea leaf. We're not eating that part. Okay. That's what keeps it nice and moist. Okay. I don't want to be disrespectful, but this looks really weird. It's a meat pocket. It's a meat pocket. It's a wonderful meat pocket. Okay. I was freaked out by the, by what was going on on that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I was like, I don't know what we got on the side of the road, but it's a little meat pocket. It's good. It's it's like a, kind of like a cool, a cool pulled pork inside of a- Exactly right. Weird. It's like a salty, yeah. fatty no, pulled good. pork. Oh, great. Wrapped in some greens. Yes. I was worried that this was not gonna be good. How's our crispy minpachi looking? Now, this is not like the cole. You cannot usually eat everything. Can't it's a little eat more delicate. You can't eat the bones. You can eat anything you can chew. It's good. It's just super, super like soft. flaky. Yeah, super, super soft. Now I know why they were coming off the spear. Yeah, they just disintegrate. That makes more sense. So that's also why people love them. No, they're great. They're really great. I heard a lot of people talk about these my first time ever coming to Hawaii. But they were so tiny. It's almost like picking crabs or something. Yeah. You gotta like really pick through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are some little bones in there. I have never been like a super manpachi lover. And I think that I'm not sure if I'm cooking them wrong or what. You guys out here in Hawaii, you gotta let me know. It's like, they seem too soft and not, you know, like. The flavor's fantastic but I just feel like they're soft. I don't know if I need to cook them more. I'm gonna try and experiment with these other two right here and see if I cook them more like a cole and maybe you can eat the whole bones. But I don't know if the temperature's not hot enough or it's too hot or it's too short or it's too long. Let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> that looks better. Crispy. Yes. We like fish chicken nuggets, bro. That's, That's what it. we want. So I think that was my problem there. I don't think I cooked them long enough the first time, you know? I think they really do need to be cooked all the way to crispiness. They're actually way better. I thought the first one was good, but these little crispy nuggets, they are, they're way better. They remind me of the cole. All right, guys, I gotta go eat these crispy nuggets. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Ryan Myers Expeditions. Like this video if you haven't already. Check out our merch because it is incredible. Subscribe if you're not, because we got so much more coming for you. We'll see you next time right here on Ryan Myers Expeditions.